What? Counting sheep. And try counting vegetables. Vegetables? <laughs> yeah. You're making this up. How dare you? <laughs> Tell me a story. There must be one in that big book of yours. Okay. Just one. And then it's back to counting bananas. Deal? O oh, little fairy, sleeping tight, beware a thief coming through the night. One who's sly and full of hate, he'll call by when the hour is late. Well versed in black magic, his thirst for evil is quite tragic. He craves the energy locked within the wings, and all the power that it brings. He attacked the fairy where she lay, and with a snip and a cut he was on his way. And what of the fairy he left behind? She was said to have been the last of her kind. A gorgeous creature, now all but extinct. Human nature, don't you think? The wizard worked hard in his lair to keep at bay his own despair. To stop his heart from starting to rot from every terrible twisted thought. Hidden in the shadows of terrible things hung his collection of fairy wings. And all the magic he stole for himself was sealed in a bottle sat upon a shelf. But before he had his wicked way, something was about to make him pay. He was hit by the most unusual sight when he was struck by a shaft of light. Be it fairy revenge or heaven's desire, the light had set the wizard on fire. And when the bottle was knocked to the ground, the magic escaped, never to be found. It exists now only as a fairy tale to be told when it's dark and the moon is pale. You definitely made that up. Oh really? But how do I happen to know so much about dodgy wizards with unusual nocturnal habits? Besides, my imagination isn't as vivid as it used to be. Better get off to sleep, you boys, bet before your parents get home. Okay. Don't forget to leave the door open. Sure.